Hello chess fans, this is the YouTube channel Chess Analysis 64. In this video we will be giving three examples for positions where the white player attacks the black king and as a result the black player can't stop the promotion of one of the white pawns. Unfortunately to black the white player gains a material advantage. This video is aimed for intermediate chess players. Try to recognize similar patterns in your games. We begin with the first example. White to move. He moves f5 rook to a5. Check. And if the black king moves away from the attack, then the white rook will capture the black rook. So the best move for black is to capture the white rook. After that, the d-pawn promotes to a queen, the black rook moves away from the queen's threat, and the white player is ahead three points. We move to example number two, white to move. He moves the a5 rook to e5. Check. The black king moves away from the attack. After that, the e5 rook moves to e8. And now the black player can't stop the d-pawn from promoting. So black plays the best move, and that is capturing the e8 rook. After that, the d-pawn captures the black rook, promoting to a queen, and the white player is ahead 8 points. We move to example number 3. White to move. He moves f3 knight to d4. Check. The black king moves away from the attack, and we notice now that the black queen can't stop the d-pawn from promoting, because of the white knight's move. Finally, the d-pawn promotes to a queen, and white is ahead 9 points. Okay, we have reached the end of our lesson, but remember, in your games try to apply patterns similar to the ones mentioned in this video. Hope you found something useful from this video, hopefully I will be uploading new videos soon. Feel free to give any comments and don't forget to share, subscribe and like. You can also follow us on our Instagram account, ChessAnalysis64. Thanks for listening and good luck with your next chess game.